Hi guys, welcome to UAB Simplified. Today we're going to talk about the easiest way possible to make a drone. I'm very excited about it. So let's get started. So we have before us all the parts that we need to make a simple drone. It may look a bit scary, but don't worry. I'm going to make it simple and easy for you. I will explain everything to you step by step. So first we need a frame. This is the body of the drone on which you know we will attach all the components. We are using the ZMR250. This is a very basic frame, which you can easily order online. This frame is cheap and is good for beginners to make their first drone. The ZMR250 has three parts. But for our simple build, we are only going to use one. This will make our drone lighter and easy. In the end, not only humans, but also drones are trying to lose weight. So let's put aside all the parts that we don't need. The second component that we have are these tiny motors. We're going to use the brushless motors, which are more reliable and deliver more power as compared to the brushed ones. For beginners, you can buy these simple motors. These are cheap and you can get them online. I personally like the Emax 2306 motors. They're efficient and powerful. Also, they look really good with their black and red colors. Hence, we are going to use these for our drones today. Now we come to the most important part, the flight controller. The flight controller is like your minion sitting on the drone. It follows your commands and keeps all the parts functioning properly. We will be using the Brain FPV flight controller from the company Radix. This has a F4 processor, an inbuilt parameter, four serial ports and most importantly, an integrated OSD for connecting your camera. Another important aspect about the flight controllers is that the company has prepared a step-by-step -step manual for making a drone, which explains in detail how to make the connections. I made my first drone by learning from the manual. So at any point of time, if you need any clarification, you can refer to the manual. You can find the link of the manual in the video description below. The next component we have is the ESC. No, it does not mean the escape button on the keypad. It means an electronic speed controller. So we have two types of ESC. One is your individual one and the second one is your four-in-one chip. This ESC is a chip which controls the speed of your motors. The individual ones are cheaper and easier to replace. However, connecting all four ESCs to the flight controller separately is complicated and involves a lot of wires. We will be using the Hobbywing 4-in-1 ESC. This will make the connections really easy and your drone will also look neat and clean. The receiver will receive the signals from your remote controller and ensure that your drone obeys only your commands. We will be using the FR Sky receiver this one is the X8R, which is good for bigger drones and where you would need longer range. We are making a small drone where the priority is the size and weight. So we will be using this FR Sky XM receiver. It's small, light and very easy to connect. In order to keep our drone in our control, we will be using the FR Sky Tyrannus QX remote controller, which we will pair with our FR Sky XM receiver. You cannot let the machines roam around on their own. Otherwise, very soon you'll have to deal with Skynet. Listen to me very carefully. For the purpose of drones, we need high energy density batteries. You know what it looks like? Our normal AA cells do not have sufficient energy to power a drone. We need to use a lithium polymer or LiPo batteries as they are called in short. We are using a 4S LiPo batteries which means the battery has 4 cells. As you can see here, 1, 2, 3 and 4. The battery will be attached to the frame of the drone using these battery straps.
we need two clockwise and two counterclockwise propellers. Here we are using the 6 inch tri braid propellers. So apart from these essential parts, what you need are screws, allen key or screwdriver, basic tools, multimeter, soldering equipment and XT60 connector. I hope you all have understood the basic parts that we need to make your drone. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. So guys, in our next video, I'm going to show you how to assemble all these parts and make your first drone. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel below and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when our next drone takes off.